in the beginning. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosper prosperous. But one day tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But a word soon spread out among people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground and a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins in the sea of town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the thousand year door starts here. Oh, this is sick. So cool. Finally, a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I'm gonna have to read everything, aren't I? I come all the way here on holiday, only to be struck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to see to look around on my own and see what's what I want. I better if I don't read it, huh? Oh, Missy, Missy, will you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, and this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside of it? This is, box holds a map that shows where to find treasure, but the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you see, it won't so much as budge if one such as me touches it. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> we go on, hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. Oh, that's beautiful. Mail call. I'm gonna turn this up. Beautiful Mario sounds. Wait. <laughs> there we go. Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach has arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Um, now let's see here. <laughs> Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling the Mushroom Kingdom. My travels the came to possess a mystic map, a treasure map actually. It was inside a box I got in an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go to find a treasure all by myself, I thought I could help I thought you could help me hunt it for you. Help me hunt it for you. No, help me hunt, hunt, 
for it, you will of course want it. I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogue Port. That means you must come. Peach. I was going to say Rogue. <laughs> what do you know? It's true. There's a weather old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Uh -huh. That's funny. The noise he makes. Paper Mario and flies in your door. It looks really good. Prologue, a rogue's welcome. Oh, what the hell did they open here? Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. <laughs> this is so cool. I apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed. Just a bit of rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sort of tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Er, of course, sir. Well, it's if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Okay, now I gotta figure out the controls. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so that's those. Hold on, guys. Let me set up my, uh... Just reading all these buttons like uh <sighs> it don't even make sense for the keyboard. Don't worry guys. Current configuration is valid. Huh. 
But it doesn't use this type of controller. Oh, there we go. The buttons are backwards, though. Ah, I'll deal with it. If you get a game over, or if you start playing again from the title screen, you can continue from the last point you save. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to hit it to save. Oops. I meant to jump on his head and I smack him in the face. What do you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Owe you money? Or is she your girlfriend? My button. Boy, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so... I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is, you never know when you're going to kick the whole bucket. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Boy, come out of it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walk around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a little student and tell us what you know right now. Never, I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little sit last like you met with an untimely demise. But <laughs> boys, we're tackling this firebrand to our fortress. Taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Like I'd go anywhere with you, smelly lizards like you. Er, like I'd go anywhere with smelly lizards like you. Hmm, not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump, crump a bomb. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. Crumple bomb. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your bammer. Makes sense. Hold left and then release it when it lights up. Ooh. Sweet, you know that hurt. Well, wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. to press A at the exact moment you stop on an enemy. Yeah, baby. You got him on the ropes. Come on. Keep wailing on him. Crush me. Jump. Press A at the exact moment. Okay. Oh, wrecked it. Nine star points, baby.
You do it, you do it, yes. And you got star points. That's what these little things are, star points. Star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? So star points are experience points. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, you got a couple of decent shots in. I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means it's go time. On the ship. <laughs> to kick in my ass. Quick this way. I don't mind this arc. If you want a bunch of bozos, let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? That's for later. Uh huh. Stop. <laughs> Where'd they go, huh? You Johnson. Did you see them? Did anyone? Oh, crud. They bolted. They got away, chat. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've just got to give you a little reward. <laughs> My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean, like, the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Well, anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled in town yourself, right? <laughs> yeah, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. The boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste? <laughs> are you okay? That hurt. Those jerks. We won't forget this. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I never come to a place like this if it wasn't for some legendary treasure here. What, you're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? Oh my gosh, is that... Is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Great Hoogly Boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Hmm. Ho oh, ho. So tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little berg? Hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. She told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. You're asking me where Princess Peach is? Or um, I was about to ask you that. We stepped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship. Don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as she I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be mo back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that you may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it. Particularly if you find your HP heart points running low. Just drop on in. Ho ho. Yes, anyway, a little rest. There will fill all of your HP. I must say though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. 
Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach, do you mean like Peach, the Princess Kingdom? Or the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a second, this is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Well, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, I know, Mario, come with me. One of the professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. We're we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella join your party. Goombella's abilities are prime are prime here. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon above Goombella's head. X. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about the person or object. Press X to learn about a person. Oh, okay. That's Goomther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. Press X to learn about a location. This is Rogueport Square. It's the center of the town and a main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you'll learn some interesting tidbits. Try using her ability whenever you can. That concludes this little premiere. Do you think you've mastered Goombella's abilities by now? I've mastered them. Of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack with a head bonk or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankie, frankly, and he looks like this. Oh, before I forget to mention, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Looks like Professor Frankie. I know he lives somewhere in town. Okay, so ZL is that one. Tell me about this guy, though. That guy's is a million. He sniffs out propositions that might make him loot. With his nose for opportunity, he could really do well in the straight business world. But I guess no one in Rogueport is really cut out for the suit and tie life. Oops. Sniff sniff, you smell that? This smells like a profitable situation. Yes indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of my your business. So you don't know nothing, so I'll teach you something. How about that? If you press R, you can check your current HP. I can't believe you didn't know that. If you have low HP, you have to go rest in the inn so you can recover. Use your head. Good, good fights. This is Broadport's main square. No, no, I want to see if it's a... Uh... I don't know about this guy. That guy's a local Goomba. He'll give you advice and stuff, so he's okay. His tips totally might come in handy, so you have to talk to him as often as possible. Oh, really? That's a lazy Dugan. He hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well. I bet he's never done an honest day's work in his life, but a piece of work. 
Professor Frankly. Actually, I think a guy by that name lives over on the east side. Just go east from here as you enter town from the highway, just hang right. Oh, so uh, what about him? Did this guy steal anything important from you, or what? Come on, guys, I gotta check out my food. Why is my brain dropping? Crazy. Hold on a sec. Hey, how's it going? I'll just say, okay, a second. Nice. Same. You too, not another step. Don't come this way. Stream's going pretty good. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm coming for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear me? You stepped on it, my poor contact lens. Don't your stupid ears work? Whatever you, were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're going to pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine. If it's your, if that's your plan, then here's mine. You owe. I'm going to block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Oh my god. Ah, uh, yeah, I play all kinds. Brady. I guess we gotta go down here. No, you said the east side, right? This is the east side. This <laughs> paper cockroach. Wasn't yeah. here yet. Oh, nice. I used to play Minecraft. Once upon a time. That sounds pretty good now, to be honest. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm, I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up on top of three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down, and I needed to hide out, so I came to Roadport. Now that I've told you, I'm lying low in the thieves' den. You gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. That's McGoomba, a Goomba, obviously. I think maybe he's on the land for somewhere. From somewhere. I mean, why else would he be chilling in this back alley? It's nasty here. Uh, probably Zelda or something. I know, it's hard to choose just one. Let's 
So he lives in the east side of town. This has got to be the east side. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. The god bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. Wait, did he steal something from me? Hey, yeah, big old rube. I ain't smart talking to people you don't know. Or it ain't smart. You never know when a guy might go wild and attack. Be careful, live longer. What the hell is this? Hi there, you were- Oh hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. What's uh, who's there? Who wants me? I said probably Zelda. Ah yes, you know, now you uh, wait for it, just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence, I'll get it right. Um, it's the Goombrella, or it's not Eliza Goom. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, Zelda's really good. Aha, I've got it. You're Goombella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Ah, uh, they're okay. I'm not a big fan of them, though. Wow, yes sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at Ugoom. Go Goombas. Of course, I remember you not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Oh, I hit the wrong button there. Who? Mario? Professor, he's Mario, you know? The famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you to all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor, frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Oh, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Archaeolog archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? To find the crystal stars of your... Take the seven crystal stars to the thousand years door. That's how the old saying goes. And with a rhyme that's solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first, or you first must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magic map, magical map aloft, aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Years Door. 
thin stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday. Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be, and we're in luck. It seems the thousand year door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have a professor, or not we exactly. Mario has a magical map. What? <laughs> oh my god. Hamamune, hibibidi, hibabidi, hibibidi. Hababi, hamamali, hafafli, hupufli. Really? You, you actually have it. Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? I'm from Canada. Eastern Canada, in a place called Newfoundland. Standing, this is it. The real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up to the front of the thousand-year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Goombella? Mario? Let's take the magical map to the thousand-year door. Where are you from? Aff we must go, this instant. I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. Ooh, our first little dungeon. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Oh wait, hang on. Hang on a second, Mario. Something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice your action commands before we descend? They're the basics of combat, after all. Sure. Oh, I said no. Oh well. Really a master, are you? <laughs> Maybe you had to practice them once, just to be safe. Okay, fine. Good call. In that case, let's have a little practice session. Goombella, you can be Mario's opponent. What, me? Are you serious? Oh, gee, I'm, uh, okay. I'll do my best, I guess. First, we'll practice the jump action command. Is that okay with both of you? Choose the jump command, then choose which enemy you'll attack. When you choose a command, the action command details will be shown at the bottom of the screen. When action command jump, press A at the exact moment you stomp on your opponent. Give it a go. Perfect. Well, you got a nice rating. The action command was a success. Succeeding at the action commands will increase the damage you deal to your opponents or do other good stuff. Now it's your turn to attack Goombella. Shake a leg. Get ready Mario. Press A just before your enemy strikes you. Okay, here goes Mario. Aw, oh, I pressed the wrong button. You failed that the guard action command. Go on Goombella, give it a try. Okay, here goes Mario. Perfect. Ah, well done. You pulled off the guard action command. That will decrease the damage you receive in tax. Just smashing A won't be enough. Successes require timing. <clears throat> action commands change depending on the attack. Just to stay on your toes, eh? Anyway, now, next let's practice hammer action commands. After you select hammer, choose who you want to attack. Yeah, I can see your chat. Did you hear me? I said I'm from Canada. Where are you from? Once you get close to your opponent, tilt left stick to the left. Then release at the same time you see a flash. 
perfect. Ah, nice. Virginia. Gotcha. Stop there. How'd you feel, Mario? Got a pretty good grasp on action commands now? Is that a nice place? I've never been to America. <clears throat> Excellent. Now for a real treat. I'll teach you a really incredible technique. This time, press B at the exact moment the enemy attack lands. Goombella, try to attack Mario one more time. You got it, Professor. Ah, oh, I keep forgetting B and A are switched. I gotta fix this. Hold on, guys. <laughs> B. X. Y. Y. Okay. I don't know how to be able to do that. Too soon. Oh, you gotta do it the exact moment it lands. See, you turn the foe's attack back on him. I mean, her. That's a super guard. If you do a super guard with B, you take no damage and damage your opponent in return. Nah, I did some artwork myself, but that's about it. I got no money to pay for artwork, so I don't have any. If you do a super guard with B, you take no damage, and you damage your enemy in return. But super guards are harder to do than standard A guards. Choose wisely between them. And that concludes Action Commands 101. Ha ha ha. Sorry, professional humor. Or professor, professoral humor. How'd that go? Would you like to practice your action commands a bit more? No, I'm gonna stop for now. Expect nothing less, Mario. You're a quick learner. You're already a pro, I'm sure. Well, I do believe we're all set for the quest. Hmm, down below we go. Hop onto the pipe button, press A to enter. Conant Pat. Alright guys, be right back a second. back 
can't break this wall, man. Thank God all that talking's over. Star piece. fortune teller seeing with my amazing ability that which you should seek is my humble job the light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see uh -huh. so shall I see something for you what should we look up here guys Does it show me like forever? And here, oh, hmm, I'm terribly sorry, but I can't get a clear vision of any shine sprites at the moment. Please return to me later. Do I see something else for you? Star pieces. I understand. I was just shall look for what you seek. Focus, focus, focus. Kadabra, Dabra, Hula Baloo, Paka Paluka, Peekaboo. Stars, show me what I seek. Uh, I see a star piece. It is an East Rogue port just before the exit to the main square. Just before the exit to the main square. You go in the strange wall and go deep in the shadow of the house. It is on top of a crate. Alright, my next path. Ah, your next path. I understand. I shall look for what you seek. Focus, focus, focus. Kadabra, da abra, hula baloo. Pack a poka, peek a boo. Ah, ah, stars, show me what I seek. I see <clears throat> your destined path. You defeat three Goombas underneath Rogueport, then the way opens. Interesting chat. You know, I should view things I've said in the notes section. Wow, this looks amazing. Notes. You defeat three Goombas underneath Rogueport, then the way opens. Nintendo, if you ever see this somehow, like you actually watch this shit, 
please, for the love of God, make another one of these. Make more games like this. You know, RPG, fantasy setting, whatever. But people don't make games like this anymore. Hey, hey man, what's up? You think it's cool just to waltz your way into our underground? Typical. You surface nabs are so stuck up. Ugh. I don't get the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ugh. Hey, yeah, come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port of town? A port town in peace? If this is your casual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned it down here because it stinks. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for a fight? If you're, if you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of our sewer. Nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. <laughs> Can't lead this fight. So, <clears throat> a Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a pair of Goomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take damage. A pair of Goomba, airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose an attack method. And be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now go get them. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you. Something vital. You can press Y to charge... to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like a Goombella, don't forget that. I'll be over here watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance, but good luck. Uh, switch it up. Mm -mm -mm. Tactics. Nope. She has Tattle. Tattle. Tell me about this Goomba. Ooh, perfect. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Uh, it says, Goombas are underlings. Oh, underlings. No standout features of note. That's totally rude. Goomba, 2 HP, 1 attack, 0 defense. Appears in various locations. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. Uh, oh, I gotta attack him first. Okay, jump, jump, jump. Perfect. Oh, what the hell? Too soon. Tackle or tattle? <clears throat> That's a spiky Goomba, a spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. Guess that spike helps boost its attack compared to an average Goomba. The addition of spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Perfect. 
That's a pair of Goomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 0. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. Perfect. Later on, the Zoo stuff felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where that came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So, if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you get going to battle. Attack first, get the bonus. Got to that. But we can't get over there yet. <laughs> I get used to the buttons. Struck first. Punches 5 HP. You got an item. You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your HP. Press the game pad to open a menu and choose an item from your gear screen to see your items. You got a fire flyer, attacks all enemies with fireballs. Pretty cool. I should see what kind of enemy that is. Mm. 
Ooh. I want her to tattle it. That's just fun, yeah. A totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee -ya. Makes sense. Yeah. Got star points. the sticker way. A strange black key. Key for in here, maybe. Yep, hey, you can you hear me? You can, that must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in a chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting for a long, long time for a hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy. What brings you a hero? What brings a hero like you to a place like this? Ah, uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're, that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, drat. I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely going to need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for the key to this chest. Then use it to let me out, definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything but crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on a you, oh, great legendary hero. What? Whoa, what? You already found the key? Oh, man, oh, you're big. Yes, thank, ha, thank nothing. Wee Fools. Oh boy, did you fall for it. I burned you. Why you think I was gonna help you? Instead I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil curse upon you. Woogly woogly woo. You're cursed. Wee hee hee hee. Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You want to hear all that the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in a certain area, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee hee. Trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse? Wee hee hee. Oh, I can't. <laughs> I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty tough, I guess so. I suppose I owe it to you to explain. 
Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're in the panel now. Try pressing Y and then BAM, you're a paper airplane. Okay. You'll control your tiny airplane by til self by tilting forward and back. Example, the plane will rise if you tilt in the direction behind you. However, if you keep tilting L too much, you'll slow down and start to fall to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting and timing is key. Try it now and suffer total aerodynamic humiliation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now you've had enough airplane shame. Press B as you deplane and go back to normal. So be honest, do you fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Yes, I get it. Farewell, you foolish fool. Wee. So wow, just wow. What was that guy? Guys be Oh, Mario, Goombella, look at that. Is that the Thousand Years Door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are true. Come, let's move closer. Come on, guys. I'll be right back a sec. International Court of Justice, or should we say injustice, that we've discussed in recent weeks. I read that chat. Trying to fix something here.
Vem pra casa. I'm just, uh... Looking at something here. Hmm. All right, let's keep playing. That's near door. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? Location of the crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. And Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. The Sweet Treat. <laughs> Professor of Map, what was with all those strange lights? Hmm, it looks like the information related to the location of the crystal star. Star. And that shining light, it looked as if the mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one day, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I should put more food on, that wasn't really enough. Hmm, <laughs> ah, I see. Or, aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? I gotta stretch. Of course I do, and I shall explain. The first thing to know is, the map is truly astounding. Somehow this map contains the radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Metal Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there? Or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could get just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map, anyway? From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her. Your princess came to me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about petal meadows. It doesn't seem like likely, but perhaps she tried to go to petal meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Oh. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them.
Get all these cords ah, tangled up. All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. The Princess Peach. If Princess Peach went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a must to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Are you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me can handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Ah, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, it will. Stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? Sure thing. Excellent. In that case, let's give your special move a little test run. First, take a close look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of star power with me so far. When you have star power available, you can use it. You can use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Sweet Treat. Oh. I suck. It's not bad. Three FP. <laughs> Since you use one power dot, star gauge is now empty. Even if the gauge empty there though, you can still charge it up again. That's why the audience watching your battles is so very important. That's you, audience. If you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean, Mario. Goombella, try to attack me, please. Oh, nice. See that? You thrilled the audience so you put up some of your gauge. Nice, keep building up that star power. Also, the most exciting, the more exciting your battles, the more people will come to watch your fight. As you see, that's reflected in the number of members in the audience. 15 members in the audience. Still with me? The more people in the audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use the appeal command to get star power. I hope you memorized all this. Well, that's all I've got. Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Fine work, Mario. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. You got a power smash badge. It's called a badge and is incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's important is knowing what the effect will be when you first equip a badge. Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? Okay.
Equipping badges requires badge points that need one badge point. Click A to equip a badge. You use one badge point and equip the badge. Press A again to remove the badge and your BP will be returned. That's some, the whole explanation. Press the menu button to close. By the way, you need flower points to use our smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to pedal meadows. Hey kid, you got a minute to learn what it means to fight, like to fight with your whole heart? I can see you're brimming with potential, kid, but there's a heap of stuff you don't know about to fight. Stylish moves, hitting it big, there's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you got questions, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me the Battle Master. I don't stop them, but I could with fighting. Anywho, I got a great life traveling, training. And some third thing. If you see me around, give me a holler. That's the battle master. He's a master of battling. Let me know if there's... I'm going too fast here. He'll teach you the secrets of battling and help you practice tricky action combats. Commands. So if you're having trouble mastering any aspect of battles, just ask the battle master. I mean, obviously. Practice action commands. Outstanding, let's get down to business. What are you looking to train up in? Practice guarding? Uh, yeah, practice guarding. You wanna practice guarding? Sure. Ready to go? Ready. Super hard. Poifik. Regular guard. Poifik. Poifik. Where you looking to train up? Practice moves? Ah, oh, I messed it up. Poison. Anything else, kid? Uh, nothing. <clears throat> Alright guys, hold on a second. Let me put on some more food and I'll be right back.
I'm back, guys. Sorry about that. Talk to the other side of the table. That's Merlin. He's uh, he's this old, odd old man who says really bizarre things sometimes. He helps power up your allies here for three shine sprites. He raises your partners at one rank. Get out of the way. Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partner. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So which partner would you like to power up? Goombella. Yes. Oh, you don't have enough shine sprites? Be gone. Come back when you have three. Return someday. Whoa, it's a Shaga or Bandica. E oops. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine. Fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Holy shit, you stole like 55 coins. What a dick. Ah, glowing mysterious light under the city. Mysterious. There smells like treasure, people. I'm not letting you to the West Part of Town until you buy me a new lens. Sorry, but end of story. I can't cook anything with that contact lenses in. Ah, my rage is so hot right now, I could cook you with it. <sighs> so you got a contact lens in this place? Welcome. Welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. Huh? What's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Hmm, wait just a moment. Chief, well, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Hey there, fellow. Welcome. Is this your first time shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to a new customer, so bear with me. The customer receives one shop point for each item they purchase, up to a max of 300 points. You with me so far? Save up, to sh save up enough shop points and you can get prizes, including some rare items. If you find a list of prizes posted in any shop, so be sure to check it out. It's a pretty simple promotion when you say you need me to explain it again. Nope. Now, with that said, hey there, fella. Welcome to Toad Bros Bazaar. What can I do for you? Well, you can store here too. Let's sell. No, no, I'll keep that shit. Cures poison. Yeah, these will be good. They're for FP and I can heal myself with FP. So...
I don't want to spend too much on them though, because eventually I'll get better ones. Shaved up 10 shop points, guess what? You earned this mushroom. Yay. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, I can go this way. down my older brother left for it just the other day i wonder how he's doing now i just hope he comes back in one piece hey you're mario wow this is so cool i never thought i'd meet a celebrity out there Ooh, i know do you want to make an investment mario my name's Lumpy, and I'm heading out to dry, dry desert to prospect for oil. I've lived my life hoping to get rich quick, and now my chance has come. But I still don't have enough startup funds. Would you, could you please lend me some money? I'm accepting initial investments of 100 coins or more. Oh, I just, I just spent my 100 coins. No way, bub. Fine, whatever. Be that way. It's your pal. I'll be here for a while yet, in case you come to your senses and want your best, just let me know. Wait, didn't I get paper abilities in the... Oh, I know what I gotta do. I gotta go back down to the dungeon using my paper abilities. And I'm gonna go invest in that mouse. What's going on, bird? Whoa, whoa, hold up. Now, you're an outsider. Pass this post is a turf at Vishnail, head of the Robos. It's ten coins to pass through. If you try to pass it, they're paying up, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you good. But, I whip you, but good. What do you guys think? Should I kick his ass? For showing Mario some disrespect? That's what I thought. Mario would just kick his ass. What? You gotta be kidding me. You think you can fight your way through here? You gotta make... I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Them fighting words. Go fire flower. He's gonna make me eat my words. I don't think she can attack him or she'll hurt herself. I pressed it and I still didn't block. Bingo time, come on baby. Go. Uh, hopefully, this don't hurt her. Yep. Guard. Huh? That hurt? 
you have no chance of beating me, trust me, but so you'd better run. Yeah, I don't. Seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from Texan Schmitter. Sometimes it's best to run. I don't believe him. He's a liar. Tattle. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tools from everyone. He's 20 HP. Max HP 20, attack 3, and defense 0. All in all, he's pretty tough. Oh, and I'm sure it's, it's super obvious, but that pointy spear of his hurts if you stomp on it. I wonder if that guy watches people pass 365 days a year, attack by a workaholic. Oh, I couldn't super guard it. Oh, I can see his HP now. Try to win over the crowd. Power Smash. Four times. All right, roll for an attack. Oh, someone left the crowd. Take that. <laughs> we got him. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? This is the East Rogue Port. This is the turf of Ishmael and his crew of robos. The east side's all run down and you can't even tell if there's buildings on where banking or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. <laughs> the trouble center is the only place on the east side that other towns folks come to. If the place is open when you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. Trouble Center, I'm out of the office. Please come again. Wait, I got an idea. First, let's go to the inn. Let's see how much it is to sleep. Because that guy was actually pretty tough. <clears throat> Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's Place, a humble little cold shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By and by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. Ah, what are you doing? Sneaking up on a person as he sings most jovially. Who, me? You ask a bit? Ah, I am Flavio. I am, how you say, a traitor. The richest man in Rogue Can't you take a hint, pal? Dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. Boy, I used to sail around... Sail around and run wild in me younger days. But I'm a reformed sailor now. 
ice go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. That guy's Bob, a Bob Bomb sailor. I think he comes here every time a ship makes port. I don't blame him. His place has, this place is totally cool atmosphere. I'd be a regular too. That guy practically lives here. He must like it, huh? He's like the ultimate regular. As far as I can tell, he's recanting tales of every love of his life one by one. That's the entrepreneurial Flavio. He's like super rich and he owns lots of shiz. What's he doing in here so early in the day though? Think he's doing okay? Oh, where in the world could this princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. Welcome to the lone refuge in this port, port of filth. Our bed will soothe your soul. Carry the rest, it's five coins. I'll stay. Enjoy your stay. <laughs> Did you sleep well? Now you're ready to get out of there and face the world. See you again soon. What the hell is this? A GameCube patch? Changes background music to the original GameCube tracks. Whoa. Nostalgic tunes. Simplifier. Happy hour. Super appeal. Power jump. What's this? A big welcome to you. Yes, welcome to the lovely house of badges. You are so welcome here. Now, I know a new customer when I see one, so let me give my usual rundown of how our shop works. We have a special curated section of selection of recommended badges up here on the counter. If you're looking for something more niche, check on the cardboard box on the right side of the shop. That covers the basics of using your shop. But, do you want me to explain it off the top again? No. Lovely, then I hope you enjoy the time shopping here. Whoa, delivers damage that ignores an enemy's defense. Half the damage Mario takes when he has 5 HP or less. Half the damage your partner takes when they have 5 HP or less. Drop Mario's attack power by 1, but regain 1 FP when attacking. Make action commands hard, but earn more star power. Make the action commands easy, but earn less star power. Has a chance of slowly restoring FP each turn during battles. Get more star power when Mario appeals. Powerful stomp on an enemy. Oh, if I had enough for that one. We gotta come back to this bad shop. Okay, there's a bad shop in the inn. There's a bad shop in the inn. Contact lenses. I know what I should do though. Like I should go back down to the dungeon. Oh, I forgot about my coffee. the side of a good game and you forget totally forget about your freshly made copy Check. 
kind of soggy and majorly gross. Oh, I can't do a boat. Bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. I'm so screwed. <clears throat> I had to fight this bloop, bloop. Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just up and whacked someone's tootsie like that? Bloop, bloop. Somebody with some serious moxie, that's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some sassy mustached guy. Bloopity, bloop, blue. He's in a world of hurt. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey, Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, you can press Y to put me in front. Can't flee this fight. Alright. This is your time to shine. Please tell me tentacles HP too. That's a blooper and a really super humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy. HP 12, attack 1, defense 0. I just totally can't stand slimy. Nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S, -S, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it will fall down, and then it's not attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and make seafood out of the slimy, nasty blooper. Bloop. Hey, mustache. Bloop, bloop. You're thinking I'd taste good, aren't you? Admit it. Bloop, bloop. You want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? You're darn blooping. Blue ha. Oh. I didn't press the button. Oh, I missed it then, too. Getting there, we're getting there. Yeah, let's do this. Oh. Bow. Okay, so no, it's not her turn. Or it's not on her turn. I was one anyway. Get star points. Blue, blue. Oh, I'm so bad. 
There we go. The depth got my brain melted. <laughs> like that. My depth perception. Chapter 1, Castle and Dragon. Well, here we are, the Petal Metals, where folks say a crystal star has. Woohoo, here we go, Mario, the start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. This music is awesome. How did I get here anyway? Was a sick ass dragon. Whoa, what was that? I've never seen anything that humongous before. It kind of it looked kind of scary too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go again. kind of indent as if you could put something in there which I knew what this shape is supposed to be yeah I mean what could that be Close call badge. When Mario is at or below 5 HP in battle, foes will sometimes miss when... When attacking him. Wearing two or more of his these badges further increases the chance the enemies will miss. Mario's at or below 5 HP enemies will sometimes miss. It's pretty good considering that's like half his HP. Just tore those Goombas apart. Level up. Look at the audience. Press L to st use L to select a stat to increase. Badge power, FP, HP. FP? Jump, jump. 
What the hell is in here? Oh. Well. No, I wanted to jump. No way up there. Maybe I need a new partner. A better partner. <laughs> oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press ZL to ask for a hint. I'm full of good ideas, you know. Sometimes everything looks ordinary when you hit something with your hammer and make a discovery. And I could flatten the grass. Whoa, it's kind of like Zelda. You could, you could chop grass and get root base. <laughs> now you can smash grass. And flatten it and get coins. Oh, I pressed it like a bunch of times before I even got there. That cap really got me overexcited. There's no bridge. And there's like a secret tunnel in the background. Damn cardboard cartoon bushes. Shame on me, fool me twice. Shame on you. Oh, I missed the star piece. I don't even know what star piece does, but I want it. We're gonna go get it.
This brings back memories. I love a piece of star. A lovely piece of star. Mystery, who knows what it does? Take a chance and find out. What the hell does mystery do? No one knows. We'll save it for a special occasion. Travelers. Where are you, you ask? Why? This is Petalberg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. Yippity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon? Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, a scary name. Psh. By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of those things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them, it's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm. Nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. The pink house sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. What's wrong, Captain Bombman? Hut, I'm General White. I am a Babam, and I've lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Hut, oh, it's the same thing again. Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in this room is one of a kind collectible. Whoa, what's this? Temporarily softens up an enemy, decreasing their damage to defense to me. Oh, mushrooms are only four gold over here. Thank you so much. Oh, can't carry any more. Hey, do you happen to pick up any pad blocks in your way here? If not, you'll notice that they've got them for sale right here, hinted. Lucky for you that you stop by unless you get you enjoy getting clobbered to denim clad smithereens, that is. I'll buy some later. I gotta make room first. Oh, Hooktail she lives at the top of the old castle beyond the hammock in Petal Meadows. Have you heard the rumors? Someone say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not one has returned. So, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh?
same thing again. Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games lately. There's this one game <laughs> that just absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't this a beautiful day? No, 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 not you, Monsieur de la Moustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you, mon petit chow. Do you hear me, beautiful? Abandon this dullard and come away with me. You, are you kidding? You, nice way you disco wannabe. Take a hike, Bozo the Chump. Oh, 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 je suis blasé. I am wounded. Such brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue. I shall retreat for now if you change your mind, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. Yeah, check out my food. I'll be right back.
You hear me? <clears throat> so. It looks like Dark and Darker just came out free to play on Steam. So let me see something. <clears throat> we gotta try it. That's crazy, guys. <clears throat> Sorry, I was messaging the boys. Let's see if we can get something going. I hope my frames don't drop, guys. If they do, I'm sorry. So many things open on my phone. I'm sorry about this, guys. I've been streaming for a while and I had to eat from Starved and uh, no. This dark and darker thing happened while I'm streaming. It's actually kind of huge. Boy, the mayor's been forgetful lately. I'm actually worried since the old guy forgets my name from time to time. I hear there's a scary kind of monster that lives near town. Normal attacks are completely useless against it. Oh, that's not all. Fire attacks are almost are also useless. The very idea freaks me out. What can I do if one attacks me? I wonder if the shop is a way for me to throw money at the problem. What did you say he was weak against? Normal attacks are completely useless. And fire attacks. Oh, well, hello there. My name is Koopy Goo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge the monstrous hooktail. Oh, if only Koopas were as brave as you. Um, hi there, folks. Did you come to the village to look for the treasure at the hooktail castle? Well, that hooktail is one of the tough cookie. Hey, since we're here, let me ask, how many people do you think Hooktail gobbled? All time, I mean, I heard she recently lunched an old man, scooed two villages over, and Coops, who lives next door. His father went out to battle Hooktail ages ago. 
He's been a missing person. No way, that's not right. I'm missing Koopa ever since. Hey, hey, hey. It's us, the Happy Wanderers, the Traveling Sisters 3. This village is famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more thing. That big bad hooktail. We can't wait to see her. We closed the gate because the mayor told us to. My job is guarding the gate. Who's the mayor? Hmm, what's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. <laughs> Go on, do what you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you beans. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. I can't do without those memories. What? Not these, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait. You folks looking for crystal stars? Well, why don't you pipe up before you idiot? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars, you say? We're hunting. Um, wait, did I hear about those dang things again? Ah, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's this enormous, ordinary dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know, Hooktail, right? Of course. Well, this Hooktail is brutal. Fly-by snackings have all of us on pins and needles. So, are you reckless fools? I mean, are you galleon heroes off to rough her up? You got it. Oh, sounds promising. Why, if you can just rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? Of course I won't. What an unselfish man, you're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy? Hmm. Well, that's a fine name. Yes, fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. It's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you're intent on going to Hooktail Castle, I find the secret pipe that's located somewhere... Find the secret pipe that's located somewhere in Metal Pedos. I know you need the Sunstone and the Moonstone to use that pipe. The stones are somewhere in Schwank Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy. Get going and really wallop that hooktail master. Some stone masters live in Schwank Fortress ahead, and so we fear this gate is to keep them out. But the mayor says it's okay to let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Er, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Um, oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Goodbye. Okay. What was that? What do you think's going on inside that guy's shell? Oh, 
Um, there's, there's no map, is there? That's a bubble attacking power. I think he lives in Petalburg. I know he's a plant, but he makes more sense than these other quirky pedal burgers. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hook tail, she made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Mario, look at our audience. That guy's a rock. There's no way he's going to throw that at you. You'll get hurt if the audience hits you with anything, and not just emotionally. Quick, stop him before he throws a rock, but try pressing X. Tch. Nice. Later, you lousy troublemaker. From now on, press X to eject any audience member who looks like they're holding things. Oh, but there might, act there might be actual fans out there with items or coins for you. Try not to chase them away. Interesting. Okay, Mario, I'm gonna try attacking with your hammer. Who knows your attacks will cause the backdrop to collapse? It can drop on us too, so watch out. All sorts of other things could happen while we're up here, so stay alert and try to come out on top. one damage. Let's see a power smash. Ooh.
Power block. Attacks all enemies and does two damage, flipping shell to enemies. Use your task something. Um let's get rid of our honey syrup. No, we'll use the mushroom. This almost looks like some kind of statue. What if you give it a good whack with your hammer? That's what we're gonna do. Oh. I was gonna hit him. <clears throat> I messed up. Alright, hammer, power smash. Okay, is that good defense? A low HP. We're gonna tattle. That's a bald cleft. Basically a rock with a sharp, craggy face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Oh my god. <laughs> Max HP is two, attack is one, defense is two. Yeah, this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to attack this with, say, a power block. Zero? Oh. Badge tax break is defense. So take that. <laughs> Let's check on our download here. Dark and Darker is uh, done. See that chat? Wow. You just jump on him. Sweet treat. It's not like as, as soon as you press it either. So you gotta like. You're basically just trying your best. It's so hard to do. Bingo time. Oh, so close. What's he hiding behind his back there? Oh no, he's gonna give me a heal.
<laughs> you have a happy heart. It has a sudden chance. Or has a chance of slowly restoring HP each turn during battles. Broken. Broken. We have to do BP power next level up. Tearing them apart. Oh. The three three D effects are nice. We'll use the honey syrup. Now we're role playing, baby. Oh, get fast. Mystery? Now's our time. Mystery. Red flag. Dodgy. Some attacks will automatically be dodged. Oh. Cool. Should have held up for the boss. We're gonna find another mystery. soon.
replenish HP, replenish all FP. However, you can't replenish them if you don't have enough coins or if your HP FP is full. Makes sense. Boss? Question mark? Mm-hmm. Hoo-ha-ha. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You must want the sun and moonstones, and if that's the case, then you must compete against me. Compete. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stones rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean alpha. Mm-hmm. Ooh ha ha. So, what do you want to do? I'll take you in. Mm-hmm. Ooh ha ha. You're in for it now. Hey, hey, it's our, that time again. Welcome everyone to the 65th Trivial Quiz Isle. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win. But get three wrong and you'll suffer. Now, for the first question. What's hidden in Schwank Fortress? The Sun and Moonstones. Son of Moonstones, is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Ding. Arg. That's correct. That question was too easy, but it'll only get it easy, harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one mushroom and one fire flower cast a shop in Pedalberg. Total. Uh, I'm gonna say eight coins. Eight coins, is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ha, ha. Wrong. Wrong, wrong, wrong. You fools. Remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. Mm-hmm. Ooh, ha, ha. Don't let the pressure get to you. Moving on. Question three. What is the name of the mayor of Pedalberg? Koopa Koop, Fertile, Moopa, or Croop? Uh, is it Croop? Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it'll only get harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. We're not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the crystal star? Hooktail Castle. Hooktail Castle, is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Ding, ding. Arrgh, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. Are you ready for the diabolical? Question five. How can one get from Rogueport to Petal Meadows? Oh my god, I forgot. Boat across the sea, only by air, go through a pipe, race in a cart. I'm going to say go through a pipe. Go through a pipe. Is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Ding. Erg. Right again. Tell me, you didn't just go get your fourth answer right. Fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for brain pain. On to question six. Which of the following characters can be found in Metal Pedalberg? 
A. Koopa Troopers. B. Goombas. C. Bald Clefts. D. Buzzies. Which of the following can be found in Pebble Brick? Koopa Troopers. Koopa Troopers, is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Ding ding. No. That's, that's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I have to let you through stupid rules. Attack multiple foes in order with properly executed action time. I gotta read that again, so I didn't read that right. Multi bands. Where this to use multi bands? Two FP is required to use this. Attack, which lets you attack multiple foes in order by successfully executing action command. Wearing two or more of these badges increases the attack power, but the move will require more FP. I need to level up, but I'll put it on. to uh, check one of these is HP. Need to tab on one of them. Could the sunstone, sunstone and moonstone be? Yeah, let's move on for now. That's fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. Max HP 3, attack 1, and defense is 0. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean, you. Doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, it sounds like you need to use the guard action command when they release you. Timing is pretty hard to master, so I practice up. These things really suck HP. <laughs> Haha. 
Oh shit, Pal World just announced new island, new pal subspecies, new raid, challenge mode. Mm. Let's watch this together, guys. Actually, let's finish this fight first. Okay, hold on a second, guys. So, big update. This is like the announcement. Um, we're going to react to it. Let me fix the audio here real quick. And then I'm going to fix the game audio. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to be reacting to the new update from Power World announcement. It looks good. Sakura Jima update. Wow. Look at this. New island. It's all Japanese style. We got like a water, water god ghost guy. New pals. Okay. He looks really good. Xbox dedicated servers. That's great for the Xbox guys. New buildings and a level cap. So we get higher levels and buildings. New subspecies. Wait, can we go back here? What did we just see here? New buildings. Look at this, guys. Sulfur and coal. That's huge. And what's this back here? Some kind of a furnace, maybe? That's pretty cool. And she's working on it, look. And she's a fire type. But it looks like she's using handiwork on it, so it's hard to say. Let's see. New subspecies. So we got we got a pink chillet here. Is that a fire chillet? And then a grass, grass. Uh, I forget his name. Dark version of the fox. New raid. Oh my god, it's gonna be hard though. Stronghold oil rig. That's crazy. Arena. Real time arena. PPP. New faction and a boss. She looks cool. Yeah, that looks cool. Good job, Pocket Bear. It looks great. June 27th. We're going to check that out. It's going to be awesome. All right. Back to the game. But first, let me fix the audio. Now you should be able to hear it. 
All right. <clears throat> you got a sunstone. So that's, wait, that's June 27th? Whoa. That's crazy, chat. You got a sunstone. Can't flee this way. You swinging, baby. Boom. Oh, give me that. You got a super mushroom. Wow, wow. She needs to be upgraded. I need some sprites. I'm like a dog, I just need to scratch sometimes. Bingo time. Bingo. Your HP full, your HP, FP, and star power are full now. Guarded. Guarded. Didn't really matter. Oof. Got a huge audience here. Yeah, we leveled up finally. Now give me those BPs. Badge points. game for I kind of want to go and check that out dark and darker I bet it's really good now He's got like a bat item behind his back. Oh no, he used it. Oh, he stole half five my tree. Oh, it's over now for you.
Yeah, not correctly. The most delayed reaction in history. Clap. Well, I'm near chat. <laughs> Almost lost that. Oh, I hope it doesn't come back to when it came back. I gotta put badge power stuff on. Multi bats. Mystical stone shaped like this moon. You gotta move though. Sadly. Ow. I wonder if you can press B on that. We'll finish this then we'll head over to Dark and Darker. Oh, you fast buggy was your mother ever. Oh, that's multi bounce. So I, how come I don't get the bat? The bat. That's hacks. He gets item, but I can't use it. New York. Hey, you suspicious types! This is our place, and I'm coming in here, and er, and coming in here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. Boing, boing, boing. <laughs> Can't flee this fight. I don't know if I'm multi bats on your head. Oh, oh it doesn't work. Gold fuzzy. <clears throat> That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, those are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Max HP is 10, attack is 1, defense is 0. But hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder though, how does this thing hide? Look at it, it's so gobby.
Oh, he just jumps on your head. Bring your power smash in here. A spore. Me, oof, pay out. You chumps are tougher than you look. But I'm not through yet, everyone. Get him. Oh my god, he's a monster. Fuzzy Horde. It's a Fuzzy Horde, look at them all, what a mod scene. The fuzz is a buzz. Max HP is 20, attack is 1, defense is 0. Fuzzies come at you all at once. And attack in order. It says here not to freak out. It also says that if you use good timing to defend, you won't take much damage. I'm thinking it might just be faster to whip the ringleader though, you know? Oh, he beat the shit out of me. Oh, I got lucky. Maybe it's better to just keep swinging. One FP. Super guard. Bam! I didn't expect that, were you? Oh, yeah! Me, er, you got me. I guess I can get out of here now. I got all I need. save it here we're gonna check out dark and darker i'm gonna take a little break and then i'll be right back with the game so stick around we'll be right back 